Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've been getting this video requested for quite some time. How to install an add-on vehicle to 5M and how to install just vehicles in general to 5M. Um, just to let you know, I'm stopped up. I have a sinus infection, so I'll just ignore my muffled voice. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get into this. So I went ahead and downloaded a 2014 Charger Pursuit by BX Bugs. It's a very nice charger. Comes with the custom reflections and vehicles and all that kind of stuff. Looks really nice. We use it in our server slick top and hard top version so what you're going to want to do when you download it you get these four files it comes with when you download it ignore these three you're going to open up package installer you're going to choose which one you want blue and blue or red and blue i like red and blue so i'm going to go with that version double click it it's going to open up a second file close this out and then you're going to be greeted with these three files here next thing you're going to want to do is i'm using my desktop computer um, for demonstration purposes on how to um, install these vehicles. Uh, I don't use my personal computer for to host my community server. It's hosted on a dedicated server. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes only. So what I'm gonna do, right click a desktop folder. This is gonna be our new vehicle folder for our server. And I'm gonna put this vehicle in Police 5. Police 5 is an add-on slot. It's not a default slot. Police 5 is what you're gonna name your folder. Open it up and of course it's empty. You're going to go open up content and you're going to have these two folders here. Data files are your car goals, car variations and vehicles, etc. And the vehicle files, of course, are your actual vehicle itself. So we're going to drag these four files into Police 5, just like that. Next, we're going to go into the Police 5 folder, click new folder, and this is going to be named stream. <clears throat> this is going to be where your vehicle files go. So we're going to drag these into stream. And that's done for now. Next thing, we're going to go back to our data files. And we're greeted here with all these files here. You're, you're going to ignore the DLC tag set up in BXBugs config. Only thing we need here is this one, this one, and this one. So we're going to drag these three files into here just like that. And then once you're done doing all that, you can close out these files. And you're done with the download. And we can just focus on just this only. So let me do this. Nope. I'm going to do that and that. There we go. So to have your vehicle work in an add-on slot, you are 100% required to have a vehicles.meta file. Pretty much what a vehicles.meta file does is it tells the server to, first off, we'll open it and I'll show you. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> it has all these fancy text names, whatever you want to call it, HTML, whatever it's called, files. And basically what it does is the server will read the vehicles.meta It'll go here to this model name, text name, and all that. It'll read FBI and go, hey, I need to look for FBI, and I need to spawn that vehicle. If you do not have a vehicle's meta, and you put a, a uh, file, a vehicle, into an add-on slot, then the server won't have a way to, or the file itself will have no way to tell the server to read and look for a file. So without it, your vehicle will not spawn. It'll just, it'll just say, cannot find vehicle. So what you're going to do, if you're adding a vehicle to an add-on slot, first thing you're going to do is right-click vehicles and edit with Notepad. If you don't have Notepad++, it is a essential item. You don't have to use it, but it's I, I highly recommend using it. If you don't, I'll leave a link for the description. So right-click, edit with Notepad, and of course, most of them are going to have a lot more than this in it, but for just this vehicle, it only has what's required, um, which is really nice. So the default name for this vehicle is FBI. I'm putting it in Police 5. So I'm going to rename this model name to Police 5. Copy this. And I'm going to change the text name. Police 5. Handling ID will stay the same. Um, if you want it to use a different handling line, you can type in what you want, whether it be Police 2, Police 3, whatever vehicle you want it to be. But I'm going to leave it like that. Game name. I'm going to change it to police five everything else can stay the same um, except if you want the audio name hash to change so if you want this vehicle to have a beefier sound we'll, we'll go ahead and do that all my chargers in my server um, have the windsor sound which is the beefy v8 sounding sound so just like this windsor <clears throat> and you got to finish it off with this slash audio name hash and delete this little slash here and boom this is what it should look like if you want your charger to have that beefy um 
V8 sound, this is what you're going to type in the audio name hash, just like this. Everything else is can stay the same. Um, you can take a second, pause the video to copy this down, make sure you have it the right way. Or if you're going to change yours to a different slot name, whether it be FBI 5, FBI 6, Sheriff 19, whatever you want it to be, make sure whatever you want it to be spawned as is here, here, and here. So when you're done doing your edits, you can save that. I'm going to close these two out. They're non-essential. Then you can close it out. Next thing we're going to do is go to the car variations meta. Right click, edit with notepad. As you see, it is also named FBI. Like I said, I'm putting mine in police five. So you're going to change this to whatever you want yours to spawn under police five. If you have this car variations meta set to a different name, then your lights will not work. If, you, if it even spawns, if it spawns, your lights won't work um, or it will just try to spawn and it'll just crash your game. So make sure that this is the only thing you got to change. Nothing else should change. Um, just change your model name to whatever you want it to spawn under. Save that and close it. Chronicles meta, nothing should be done to it. Um, it doesn't have any kind of spawn name, so you don't need to edit those. Next, go to our stream. We're going to change all of these to police five or whatever you want your car to spawn under. So I'm going to change these all to police five. And when you're doing the FBI with the plus, make sure not, you do not delete the plus, do not delete the underscore. Only thing you're changing is just FBI to police five. As you see, I left the plus and the HI that must stay there or your vehicle will spawn and it will look like complete shit because it will just be screwed up. Police five. Okay, all our files are changed. Police five, police five, police five. And once you change all of that, your add-on vehicle is done. Sorry, it's not done. I mean, your, your car itself's done. The, the actual police five folder isn't done. All right, so once you have changed all that, you're gonna need to create a underscore resource. So if you go to your server, if you already have five vehicles in there, which I'm guessing you do. Um, so I have a CDPI right here. You see this resource? All you gotta do is copy it and paste it into here, just like that. <laughs> and <clears throat> make sure that you have the car goals, car variation, the vehicles meta inside the resource. So we're gonna go ahead and right click this, edit with notepad. Make sure that you have all of your files typed in there correctly. We have vehicles.meta, vehicles.meta, carvations.meta. So we're missing carcoles.meta. So go ahead and put a comma. Carcoles.meta. And if there's not, if you put a comma after this and there's no nothing below it, then it will crash your game and you'll sit there and sit there and try to figure out why it's crashing. And all it is is just a comma. There's a comma and there's no text after it, it will crash your game. So Put no comma there that signifies the end of the loading files next we're going to go down to here and add data underscore file uh, it's going to be carcals underscore file oops caps lock make sure this is in caps carcals underscore file and carcal oop not caps Meta, and that's that and you do not need commas for these uh, I don't need that and this is how it should be so if you want to take a second you can copy this down if you're using the same charger or if yours has all this so whatever you want your server to load whether it be just a vehicles meta then all you need is the vehicles meta and vehicle variation vehicles meta if you do it all three of these it should look just like this or whatever you are using um, is what you should put into here. So once you're done with that, you can close that out and your actual file and resource is completely done. Um, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this police five right here and we're gonna drag this into, if you, if you go to your FX server resources, drag your police five or whatever you have it named into your resources. And boom, there it is. You're gonna type in exactly what it says, police five into your server.cfg. Right click server.cfg, edit with notepad. All right, here it is. And we're gonna put down here, start police five. And then you will save it 
pull this out. Uh, no, no, no. Just ignore that. Once you save it, close it out, you then can run your server and spawn Police 5, Police 6, wherever you want, and it will spawn just fine. And that is how you do add-on vehicles. If you have any questions whatsoever, please join my Discord and it can help you out, or just comment on here. I'll do my best to, uh, to help you out. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.